Welcome back to my channel. This is Nyjah here at Budget in the Bacon and I talk pretty much about our finances that we have for our household, how we save money, how we're attempting to pay off our mortgage early, as well as I do meal planning and just making sure that our finances are in order. Today I'm going to be doing a second mortgage payoff update. Our mortgage started off just as a little bit of background history um, in 2008 we had a mortgage or we got a mortgage for $131,000. At that time, we were just happy to have a home. We do live in Texas where the cost of living is a little bit cheaper. Our home's value right now is probably about $215,000 and we have not done any type of upgrades or anything like that. We are interested in financial freedom. We do follow the Dave Ramsey plan. So currently, if you are looking at the Dave Ramsey plan or you're familiar with it, we are technically on baby step four and six. Baby step four is saving 15% in your retirement. And then baby step six is paying off your mortgage. Baby step seven is basically financial freedom and building wealth. Um, and we have just started paying off our mortgage in February of this year. I believe at the start of the year we started off with 93,000 and currently we are um a little bit under 77,000. dollars do have a goal to attempt to pay off our mortgage within the next 2 years so by December 2022 uh we will still be very young in age I feel um to where we can build wealth for the next 20 30 years or so uh, because we will have our age, uh, compound interest and time on our hands. So yes, we are fully much into financial freedom um, and having the ability that if we want to quit our jobs or something like that, there's nothing that will be holding us back. No type of consumer debt. We don't have any of that. We don't have car loans. We don't have credit card loans. We don't have student loans, personal loans or anything like that. Um, the only thing that is standing in our way to financial full freedom is our mortgage. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. And now that I've given you a little bit of a of background. Oh, also, I do want to say that in 2016, we did refinance our mortgage for $115,650, I believe. Um, that was in 2016. All right. So with that being said, when we last left off, it was, we did a payment for November 3rd of $1,000 and that brought the balance down to $78,072.18. I also made another payment in November that had not cleared just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and write that in. That was actually on the 16th of November. And that was for $250. We attempt and try to pay on our mortgage at least a minimum of $1,250 every month. If we can get above that and pay more, it's great in order to be able to do that. But that is the minimum that we are applying right now. Once I actually start some side hustles and, and everything and get some things rolling, we'll be able to put more towards it. Okay, so that is what we ended November with. $77,822.18. I'm going to switch out my pens here. So this brings us to present day December. Okay, now I know that December isn't all the way over with just yet, but... We have had some payments come out as far as our regular mortgage payment. And also we have applied a extra principal payment to our mortgage. So, oh, I like the way this is coming out on here. So on the first, our regular, our regular mortgage payment comes out. 
So I'm just going to put the balance there of 77,000, 18. A principal payment that was involved in the entire payment, because we also do escrow as well. The principal portion was six. $601.52, $601.52. That brought the balance down to $77,220.66. So on the 3rd of December, we made an extra principal payment of a thousand dollars let me just put this here and i'm hoping that i can apply more than just an, an additional 250 dollars for this month i'm working on a couple things trying to sell a couple of items on ebay in order to make that happen but so far with the thousand dollars that was applied the new balance is seventy six thousand two hundred twenty dollars and sixty six cents my goal was for us to get to seventy four thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars by the end of december or the second goal we had already met our first goal the first goal was for us to make it to eighty thousand dollars beginning of the year at ninety three thousand um, and some change so the goal was to get it to eighty thousand we actually met that goal in October Amazing. so I set like a new stretch goal for us of seventy four thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars um, we'll see how close that we get to it um, I won't be upset or mad if we don't get to that goal because we have already uh, gotten to the original goal plus exceeded that. Okay. So with that being said, we're going to go over here to our amortization schedule. And this is where we were at last time, coloring off at $78,639.97. So we have quite a bit that we could go ahead and color in or mark off today, being that we're at the $76,220.66. So I'm going to go ahead and mark through here, here, and then also I can mark through here as well. So that takes us there. I'm thinking that we may end up ending around on this mark right here, possibly. Um, hope that we can at least get to August 2022. And this is just basically saying that this is how far ahead we've paid on our mortgage at this time. Again, we're trying to get this knocked out by December 2022. So my word for 2021 is challenge and I am attempting to challenge myself to uh, for us to be able to pay $30,000 extra principal on the mortgage um, to hopefully get it down to $44,999. So we'll see how that goes. But we're definitely working towards it. Last time on the first mortgage update, and I actually did this wrong. I had to go over it, guys. For some reason, I put $469, or excuse me, $466.95. But that was wrong. It was actually supposed to be $46.70. So I didn't even color in the correct amount of these like little icon or images I should say last time I went on ahead and corrected it today because I was like something doesn't look right on it so each one of these is forty six dollars and seventy cents because there's a hundred total of these particular images um, and so currently from this amount up here seventy nine thousand six hundred sixty eight dollars and fifty cents when I went on ahead and made this goal um, 
to pay off this additional amount to get me to the $74,999. So far we have paid $3,447.84. So in actuality, it's 73 of these icons that get colored in at $46.70 each. So it's pretty much, let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and then three of these. So we're going to go ahead and color that in really quick. I knew it seemed like it was a bit off, but I didn't think anything of it last time. But I'm glad that I caught it because I was like, something just doesn't look right with it. This actually motivates me right here. Um, any type of goal or whatever that you're trying to reach. Sometimes you just need visual aids, something else to motivate you besides the numbers. Okay, and this is kind of like, I don't know, soothing and it kind of recharges me and gets me going to keep going with this because it is daunting to basically throw all your extra money at the mortgage. Um, it's not cute. It's not pretty, but it's something that we want for our family. So this last year, I've become really like hyper focused on this particular goal. Um, and also I'm in a couple of Facebook groups where we encourage each other as well. I'm in a mortgage payoff challenge group and it has been wonderful just seeing the amount of people and the, as many people paying off their mortgage and just it, it, it's helpful it's really helpful and it's really encouraging to be among other people that are doing the same thing as you all right so i've got 73 of these already filled in here and i will continue to fill these in for the rest of the month I'm hoping and praying that I can go ahead and fill in all the rest of them. But if I don't, it's okay. I'm not going to be upset about it. I think that we have made some great progress this year. And um, small progress is still big progress in my eyes. All right. So the next one that we have here is our old authorization. This is the original one. So I guess it was actually uh, $115,750. And then... It has the annual percentage and all of that so I'm just going to go ahead and also just kind of shade in to the to the mark here because I don't think I can go over anymore so to 71 Um, I have as many visual aids as I need to keep me going. I feel like there can never be too many. Uh, once I actually do my vision board for 2021, these will actually be on it so that our entire family can see. I have a large corkscrew vision board or board that I got off of a Facebook group. And so I'm going to have all of the things for 2021 that our family wants to do and master and just our vision for the year. Um, I find it very helpful in order to, to have that because it keeps us on track and it keeps us motivated. All right. So that is the second mortgage update that I have for you all. Uh, I'll be doing these probably like bi-weekly, these mortgage updates for you all just to you all, just so you all can follow me along on this journey um, and if there's anybody else that's paying off debt or also paying off their mortgage I would love to hear from you especially in the comment section um, and that way we can keep each other motivated because it is a lot when you're paying off debt and it does feel like you're alone and you know that all you're doing is just paying your money to it but the peace that you have not having any type of debt um, I cannot even describe it. We have been consumer debt free for like the last two years and it has absolutely been a blessing to our family and just our way of life and, and just how we think about money and our relationship with it. But all right, so that is all that I have for today regarding our mortgage update. If you have not already and you do like the content that you see on my channel, feel free to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. 
hit that notification bell as well as give a like and a comment. I really would appreciate it. It helps me stay in the Facebook loop and so that other people can see what I'm doing, especially if you like it, share with a friend, tell a colleague, whoever it may be. Again, I also do meal prep videos. I do budget videos. Um, I talk about our sinking funds that we have for, and stuff our cash envelopes every month. So yeah, lots of great content. And until the next time, I will see you all later. Bye.